In this video, we're going to talk about the category uh, levels and pages in ClickSense Cloud Reporting. Before I show you practically how it's done, uh, I'm, so let's see what it is. Uh, so it, it's essentially looping the same visualization or a table for repeating that for different values in a column. So for example, um, if I have a category column, it has multiple categories, so the same visualization can be repeated for same category or same dashboard or whatever. So let's get into that and see what happens now. So uh, this is a table that I've all I have actually created in the, my previous videos. Uh, so this is table you can see that you know I have just simple uh, table uh, added. So if I generate a preview for this one and let's see how it looks. Actually, I have already done that to save the time. So this is how it looks. Uh, it looks like product and it has all the categories, etc. in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a level here. So I can add this level anywhere expect, except here uh, because it will need the lower two, three, two columns at least. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do that in here. And the reason I'm showing doing that here is uh, I'm going to do some other things as well. So I'm going to add a level here uh, in level. I can add field or I can use existing co uh, columns from uh, the existing charts. So this one I'm going to use category name here. So here we go category name. It's just fetching the record. So I have the category name over here. So in order to generate the level, it will not generate the level. Uh, in order to generate the levels for that report, now what I need to do is I need to add that before the start of this program. And this uh, end tag will be at the end. And this is kind of an optional if I want the name or not. So I have the name and I'm adding that on top here. And actually what I'm doing is I'm going to merge these columns here. I'm going to merge these values and I'm going to make it and make it bold. Uh, let's just add the tag. Okay. Now I have... This is a starting level. This is the ending level. This is in between the reports. So the rows are important. The column position is not important wherever it is. It doesn't matter. Even if I have the category name here, uh, like in L, it doesn't matter. It needs to be before uh, row before this table and add after this table. Okay. So there's going to be also a blank row here because I'm, because I have added so. Okay. So now let's generate the preview and let's see what happens, how it looks. So ideally, there should be a separate table for each category here. And I've ex you know, ex uh, added the category name uh, for a reason here because it does show uh, me some of the values here. So, uh, so, so that you know, I can see, compare that my values are correct or not. So I have the report and I'm going to open that. This is the sheet that we have. Okay, here we go. So baby cloths, all the category table for the baby cloths. And if we scroll down, when the baby cloths ended, the new table has started, children. And then all the children cloths. And then after the children cloth ends, uh, there is a man's cloth. So if you see, there is a separate table for each uh, of this category. And this, you can see there is only one this one. And then there is a blank row after that, after each uh, iteration. So the values has been iterated and the separate table and also it's acting as a filter as well by default. So this is how you can use level that you can add multiple uh, things for the same value, um, uh, for, for the different values of the same column. There is another way we can do that. Uh, and that is, I think normally it's better because there is a lot of scroll for table. Yeah, it might make sense, uh, but a better approach would be rather than adding that as a label, we can add that as a page. So in order to add that as a page, what I'm going to do is the pages can only be the table uh, for existing values. So I'm going to say that, okay, we'll just add that as a table. So it automatically add this tag in here. Uh, now I do not need these levels here. So I'm going to delete that. And uh, also I'm going to add uh, category name here as well. 
if I go back to here and I'm gonna delete this one and I'm gonna add the page name here category name uh, sorry this one I have and this is the field and I'm gonna say add tag and it has added the tag here okay so now I'm gonna generate the preview now what's gonna happen now is it's gonna generate a separate table in a separate sheet it's gonna be something similar that we have seen the level that separate table for each value but this time around it's gonna be a separate sheet altogether okay so I think it's generated let's just wait a wait for the download here we are with the download it's downloaded successfully and here we go okay oh this just did we just have to wait a little bit more yeah here we are and you see now we have a separate tab for each of these values so whatever these values are, it's going to be iterating for those values and it's going to generate that this value for each value. This one is the older one, so I'm just going to close this one. This one is the newest one. So using this particular functionality, you can do a lot more. For example, what I've done is I have generated a dashboard here in this one. It has margin, you know, all the KPIs and everything, but it's a collective one. So what I'm going to do here is... Uh, Actually, I have already generated this uh, this thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, hide this one and I'm going to unhide. Actually, this one I generated previously. No, no, this one. Sorry. Uh, yeah, this one. And I'm going to hide this one. Okay. So here you go. So I have already did that. These are basically simply the images. There is no nothing, no data, etc. I'm going to do a data one in, in a, after a um, uh, couple of videos because that's the some advanced knowledge of uh, some advanced uh, tips uh, around that. So I'm going to do that in there. So for now, it's there. And what I, I'm going to I'm going to do here is I'm going to duplicate this row as well. And in this one, what I'm going to I'm simply going to change the name. I'm going to say dashboard and here I'm going to say overall dashboard. Okay, so now let's generate the preview and let's see what happens. This I have already generated. These are simply the images that I have collected and I have just represented over here. And uh, now there is one dashboard and then there is, you know, each category bifurcation division as well. So this can be a nice nice view rather than filtering. Uh, you can have a dashboard right away, uh, the total one, and then you can have the category wise uh, division along the uh, along the way as you go. Okay. So we have generated this one. This one is a big file because it has generated quite a lot of images in them. So here we are. This is my dashboard. This is my overall picture. And then we have, you know, this category. This is top selling country, top product. This is my trend. Again, this is children clothing, total sales, top products, top countries, and so on and so forth for each and every category over here. So, so that's that's it uh, uh, for this particular video. Um, stay tuned. Uh, uh, in the next videos, I'm gonna show you how you can uh, schedule the reports and distribute the reports to the people. Uh, that's the last topic and then we're going to talk cover some advanced topics where I'm going to use the create the same similar dashboard uh, using charts and data rather than uh, this thing uh, images here this which gives you more control and more functionalities so stay tuned uh, see you soon